So what we, what we share here in the balanced view is, um, is the most powerful way of living. <laughs> it's, it's the most powerful way to live our life and also the most natural way to live our life. So the most natural, innate way to live our life as human being. And, and Balanced View brings this new understanding of what it means to be optimal human beings. And um, you heard the terms open intelligence, right, in the video, and data. And to introduce yourself to, to open intelligence, what is open intelligence, you stop thinking for a moment, right here. You stop thinking and you see what remains. What remains when you stop thinking? You notice the power to know, alertness, openness, stability. What knows, that's open intelligence, we call it in the balanced view. Open intelligence is what is at the basis of everything that appears. And then a thought comes up, yeah, like, oh, is it open intelligence? I'm actually thinking. I'm not sure if I stop thinking. But that's open intelligence too. You see, it's inseparable from open intelligence. It's inseparable from what is at the basis of everything. You know, like the, the color blue and the sky? Yeah, they, they are inseparable. We cannot really take out the blueness from the sky. That's how inseparable our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, everything that we perceive is inseparable from our mind, inseparable from open intelligence. Our mind is open completely, opening and inexhaustible and also entirely beneficial. Mm -hmm. So now you're introduced to open intelligence. It doesn't mean that you need to practice stop thinking. It was just to introduce yourself for the first time here, coming here. You stop thinking, you introduce the open intelligence, you know what it is. Now we can continue on. <laughs> and also to share the practice with you of, of short moments. And the practice of short moments is so powerful because what we, the, the, the practice itself is short moment of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. And what, what is it exactly short moment? It's a short moment of relaxing body and mind. It's a short moment of complete relaxation, of resting naturally as, as you are. As we are, we rest for a short moment. And we repeat these short moments whenever we remember to do so. Whenever we remember, we don't need to effort to think when we take a short moment. Whenever we remember, we take a short moment of complete relaxation. I mean, why not to relax? Okay, so we relax for a short moment and we repeat this recognition of relaxing body and mind. You see, that's nothing to do. It's quite the opposite of doing. Okay, I know for myself, I try to do all kinds of things with my thoughts and emotions. I try to change them to positive, to replace them because I didn't feel comfortable with them. Didn't feel comfortable to feel sad or to feel depressed or to feel negative. I really thought there's something there in my mind that I have to change. I have to get rid of in order to be perfect human being or in order to be who I am. I thought it's not who I am. It's not what I want to be. So I will try to get rid of all my negative emotions, negative thoughts. I replaced all of that to a positive, which was quite successful, I must say. But very, um, <laughs> um, it was quite a responsibility. <laughs> it was an effort to be a positive person. I, I said to myself, I'm a positive person. So always looking it into my mind and seeing what's negative and immediately trying to change it. And also when friends came to me, I tried to change their points of view, their opinions, because maybe they were negative. Or when I didn't feel comfortable with my family that they felt negative, I tried to rearrange their data streams and try to make them feel better. It's all good. It's all from the motivation to really help, be of benefit. But when I came to this training, it was uh, an immediate relief an immediate powerful relief of 
Just allow everything to be as it is. Allowing everything, all your thoughts, emotions, sensations, be just as they are. Don't try to change them. That's what I, I heard. That's what I'm sharing with you. Don't try to change anything. Don't try to replace anything. Don't try to avoid anything that comes up. Allow everything be as it is for a short moment and rest naturally. And I loved it. I loved it because it was so natural. It was so intimate and immediate benefic immediately beneficial to me. I felt that all the effort to try to change what I think in that moment was just released. Like, I invite you now to, not to change anything you feel now, not to change your thoughts and emotions. Simply rest. Simply rest as you are and see what happens. When you allow yourself to be as you are for a short moment. Sh short moment, it can be the tiniest moment. And then again, it's a bit irritating, but then again, you rest. You repeat this again and again. Now, these short moments, what's so amazing about them, <clears throat> they become spontaneous, natural. They don't need um, to think about when to take a short moment. It becomes automatic, continuous. It flows into your life in a very effortless way. You, whenever you remember, you take a short moment and then another short moment comes. Why? Because you feel immediate benefit. You feel immediate relief in relaxation. You might think, I have to do something about it. I have to do something about what I think, what I feel, and about all kinds of circumstances, because of course we all have our own life and different challenging circumstances, but take a short moment instead. Try it, why not? We tried all these other things of avoiding, replacing, indulging in data. Ask yourself, did it ever help you? permanently? Did it ever give you immediate benefit to your life and others? Or it just looked like that? I know that for me, the effort to be positive, human being, to be compassionate, to be open, of course it was a motivation to be of benefit, but it didn't last long. It was very temporary for me, for my life. And when I met the training, it was just like um, a very, you know, cutting all the bullshit of trying to be someone good and <clears throat> really empowering my own life to see what is of most benefit moment to moment. And in short moments of open intelligence, what you come to see is that you open to each time, place, circumstance and to know what to do and how to act, and what to say, and how to be of benefit. And that's, that's the most beautiful question you asked, what, what is the motivation? The motivation is to be of benefit to all. And that's the, the, the balanced view, when you see balanced view for the benefit of all, because when you get to know the training, when you get to know it in your own life, first of all, when you practice yourself, when you come to do a training, like on Saturday, we have a one-day training. Just test the training, just read the text, and you will be amazed that everything is about the benefit of all. Everything is just pure for the benefit of all. And for me, that, that was, uh, it, it was such a, a touching discovering to know that there is an organization, a global organization all over the world. People want to be of benefit to all, and people live as the benefit of all. So it's not some kind of made up idea of people trying to be of benefit. When you come here to the center, and when you actually, when you go to every center in the world, when you meet the community, you come to see people just like you, relying on the power of open intelligence, relying on the power of benefit to all, practicing short moments, relying on the support and demonstrate, demonstrating an amazing way to live and that is possible to everyone. No one is excluded. So whether you have the most horrible thoughts or experience in your life or you are the most blissful person in the world, 
Yeah, everything is equal in open intelligence. You can just relax and you have an equal opportunity. You deserve to live a life of inexhaustible empowerment, inexhaustible benefit. And, and the four mainstays, what we hear in the talk and what you will hear a lot is, uh, is the network empowerment, is the empowerment network of, of, of Balanced View, which is the short moments, which I mentioned. Again, very powerful today. Take it with you, you came for the first time, try today, take a short moment. You go to the chai shop, you go to Italy, or <clears throat> you just want to um, ask for a discount when you buy something and you get so annoyed. I don't know, about all kinds of things. You're hungry, you're depressed, you, you feel lonely, or whatever comes up in your life. You think about your lover that is in another country, or maybe about your lover that does not exist yet in your life, <laughs> that you really want, and you try to fantasize about all kinds of things in your life that you want to have. I'm speaking from my own experience. I have all kinds of things coming up, even though I have a partner. So, money, and what else? What else? We ask for the cocktail, <laughs> um, a beach to swim in just right now. Forget about open meeting, let's just go and swim. All kinds of things. But when you go along in your life, or today, let's even keep it for the next five minutes. We don't know what will come up, right? So test it. Rest naturally as you are. I mean, who else you have? You have yourself. Rest in your own powerful open intelligence. Rely on open intelligence. Even if you say, I have no idea what is open intelligence, rest as that. Rest as I have no idea. Okay, rest naturally as everything that appears. Rest as everything that comes up. Don't watch it because it's boring. <laughs> okay, don't watch the data. Data, again, sorry if I didn't mention, it's all thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences. Don't watch your data. That will not bring anything. It didn't bring anything to me to watch my own data. Maybe it made me more aware, but then it didn't give me immediate benefit. So what will enliven your life fully, to the fullest, even if you already have an enlivened life, and you're already satisfied. You come to really see in, in a very powerful way that it, your life can be inexhaustibly amazing. Better and better each day. Better and better. Just imagine, better and better. Not one day down, one day up, two days down, one day up again, down, down, down. That's exhausting to live like that. Now we all deserve up, 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 up all the time. Really? And it's possible, you have all the support. Every person you meet here, completely uh, <laughs> welcome you with open heart, not in a weird, funny way. Okay, so don't worry. <laughs> we, we are all ordinary people. We, we just like you. We like to meet each other and we, we speak also in a natural way. So try to speak with us. Come to the information area. We'll tell you about, we share experience. Yeah, you can speak. Welcome you completely. <laughs> the shyness and everything, okay, that's fine. We let everything be as it is, and that's powerful, and that's how we connect as, um, as human beings. No more stopping in the data, what I feel about you, what I think about you, what I will think about you, and what I thought about you. It's really limiting. It doesn't lead anywhere. It didn't bring any peace, so... We come together here as a, as a global empowerment network and we really want to share, that's the heartfelt motivation. And you can look everywhere in the teaching and you will find that. And I look too because I couldn't believe how amazing it is. I couldn't and I still can't. The support is so generous. So why not to take it? Why not to try? You have every day the same. You go to the beach, you drink this, you meet friends. Do something new. Come to a training. See, see, look into your own mind and see what is going on there. The nature of your mind is, of our, own, of, of our minds is really luminous and, um, and beneficial. 
And we would, so we invite you all to check it out.